Nous sommes en audience publique. The court officer, we are in open session, Your Honor. Thank you very much. Uh, witness, welcome back. Um, Mr. Khan will continue his cross-examination of you. Uh, we are in public session, and remember the reminder I've given you in the past, whenever we were in public session, the reminder remains, please listen carefully to the question the lawyer is asking you. Try not to um, give more answers than are required, especially when those answers may cause you to supply information that are unique and personal to you that may lead people to try and discern who you may be. Mr. Uh, good morning, uh, witness. I trust you're well rested. Morning. And I trust you're, you're well rested today. Mr. Khan, I think we can proceed. Witness, you remember uh, on the 6th of October, on the second day that you gave evidence, you will recall that you attended Building 1 on the 25th of December, 2007. Do you, do you remember saying that? I do. Uh, and you say that uh, at that building you saw Najib Balala, uh, Mr. William Ruto, and Mr. Ryla Adinga. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, and Your Honor, if we can go into private session for probably one minute. We go into private session. You say for a minute. We have some audience public. We're in public session, Your Honor. Uh, and, you, Mr. Kant, uh, I'm grateful. Uh, and witness, and for the prosecution, it's page 83, uh, line 21 of your transcript. Um, you said, Mr. Witness, that you saw Joshua Sang, who asked to meet with Mr. Ruto and Mr. Kosky. Do you remember saying that? Yes. And they met in the office that you describe. Is that right? In the room that you describe? Yes. Are you all right if you could go into a private session again for 30 seconds? Private session. We are in public session, Your Honor. And witness, you say that you. Uh, overheard Mr. Ruto telling Mr. Sang in the presence of Mr. Kosky that he would go for a presentation at the media house. Do you recall saying that? I do. Uh, and you later clarified, witness, that by media house you were referring to CAS FM. Is that right? Yes. And you say that this was at about 11 a.m. in the morning. Is that right? Yes. And a time came, you said, that you heard Mr. Ruto on CAS FM after the meeting you've described. Is that right? Yes. And you say that was in the evening of the 25th of December. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, witness, uh, you don't 
and, and the conversation you heard on the radio, or the voice of Mr. Ruto that you describe appearing on the radio that evening, uh, was in Kalenjin, is that right? Yes. And you don't understand the Kalenjin language, do you, witness? No, I don't understand. Now, you, you told the... And, and witness, why did you decide to listen to the radio station which is broadcast in a, in a language that you do not understand? Now, witness, uh, you will answer that question, but be careful about injecting personal information in the, be in the bid uh, to elaborate. But uh, the council's question to you was, why would you listen to a radio a program being presented in a language you do not understand. My, my interest was, he was our leader, he was our political leader, so I could try to follow up how people are receiving his information on, on the ground. Uh, witness, there were Kamba vernacular stations that broadcast in the Kamba language in Kenya during 2007. Is that right? Yes. Uh, Charity Nagilu is from the Kamba community, is she not? She is. She was a Pentagon member, correct? Yes. Uh, did you follow programs that were broadcast in the Kamba language, in which she appeared? I never 